beginning saxophone, the jazz approach. Now that your saxophone is assembled, it's time for the real fun to begin as we start learning how to make some sounds. I'll go through all of the steps in this video, but you might want to print out the written portion of your beginning saxophone introduction entitled Making Sounds to refer to later as you practice. Let's begin by adjusting your neck strap up or down. There's an adjustment on the neck strap so that the neck strap holds the weight of the saxophone as you glide it into your mouth. Now it's important that you have it adjusted so that the neck strap is holding the weight rather than your thumbs or your hands. You don't want to have to hold the saxophone up with your hands as you play. Um, so, so just make sure you've got it adjusted up or down so the saxophone glides directly into your mouth. Next, let's learn about the hand position. Now, you're going to be using the keys on the front of the saxophone pretty quickly, but for making sounds, at first we're just going to get the thumbs in position. There's a thumb rest on the top half of the saxophone that you'll put your left thumb on. You can see where I'm placing my left thumb right there. Keep your, uh, your left hand wrapped around the instrument. Don't let it hit these side keys. You've got side keys right here. You've got keys on the front of the instrument. We're going to avoid those right now. You've also got a thumb rest on the lower end of the saxophone. It looks like a hook that you'll place your right hand thumb under. And notice that you've got side keys right here. You're going to avoid those side keys. And we're not going to press any of these keys right now. We're just going to get the thumbs in position. Okay, now remember that thumb position because that's where I want you to return your hands in just a moment. But next, let's talk about the embouchure. The embouchure, if when I speak of embouchure, I'm referring to the shape of the mouth, the facial muscles, the lower lip, the teeth, the cheeks, everything it takes in the front part of the face to blow the saxophone and produce tone. Roll your lower lip over your bottom teeth when you play, your lower lip will come in contact with the reed and your teeth will come in contact with the top part of the mouthpiece. So you can see I'm placing oh about a half inch or so of mouthpiece in my mouth. We'll fine tune that later as, as your tone develops. Now with the embouchure, lower lip over the teeth, teeth on top of the mouthpiece, focus the corners of your mouth inward, keep your cheeks focused inward, Take a deep breath. Make sure your hands are on the thumb rest. That's just an open note. Well, it's a C-sharp. Don't worry about the name of the tone for right now. But that's the tone that we're looking to produce. Now, all of these fundamentals are the same on tenor saxophone, and I'll play for you the C-sharp on tenor saxophone in just a minute so that you can check and make sure you're getting the right tone if you're playing tenor. But if you get a squawk, if you have a hard time producing a tone, you might try adjusting the amount of mouthpiece you've got in your mouth. You might try relaxing your embouchure. And if it still persists in squawking or not, not producing the correct tone, take your reed off, wet it up, and reposition and try it again. Now listen again. Here's the, the alto saxophone open C sharp. Now I'm going to take just a moment and put my alto down, grab my tenor, and I'll play the tone for you on tenor as well. So remember with the tenor, all of the steps are the same. We're going to adjust the neck strap up or down so the neck strap's holding the weight of the sax. The thumbs are in place on the upper thumb rest and the lower thumb rest. Not pressing any of the keys. Form the embouchure, lower lip over the teeth, top teeth on the mouthpiece. Deep breath, nice relaxed embouchure, corners of the mouth focused inward. And there's the open tone on the tenor sax, the C sharp. Once you're able to produce the tone with consistency, begin practicing articulating the tone. Now what I mean by that is a technique that we'll call tonguing, where you use the tongue to strike or pronounce each tone with a da or a ta syllable. Ta, 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 da, da. Listen as I articulate the reed and blow through the instrument without creating a tone. So 
so you can hear the tongue actually striking the tip of the reed. Try that several times and then play the same tone that you, the open tone that you played a moment ago, articulating it several times. Now, as we move ahead with the beginning saxophone lessons, I want you to articulate each of the tones. There are times when we don't articulate tones, and you'll learn those in some of the later lessons, but especially at first, let's go ahead and make sure you're articulating each tone as you play. So if after some practice you're still having problems getting a good, consistent, sweet tone quality, I've got a few troubleshooting tips for you. First of all, make sure that you're not hitting any of the side keys as you play. If you're hitting any of these side keys, it can cause some very unpleasant squawks or squeaks. You could also try taking your reed off and wetting it up, readjusting it. If the reed's dried out or if it's not positioned exactly correctly on the mouthpiece, it can cause all kinds of trouble. Also, you might try working with your embouchure a little bit. If you don't have enough mouthpiece in your mouth, it's easy to pinch the tip of the reed off. If you've got too much mouthpiece in your mouth, the instrument might squawk and quack like a duck. If the embouchure is too tight or too loose, you can run into issues. So try adjusting the amount of mouthpiece in your mouth and the tension on your embouchure. Also, make sure you're breathing deeply and try blowing with very varying amounts of air. You know, maybe overblow it first and, um, and then work at sweetening the sound up. That's a good approach to take. You can also be sure that your cheeks aren't puffing out as you play. If you look in the mirror while you're playing and you've got that bullfrog look, then you might want to work at getting the cheeks in to help you get that sweet tone quality. And once you're able to get a good, consistent, sweet tone and you start feeling pretty good with the articulation, Move ahead to the Getting Started lesson in your beginning saxophone introductory lessons. Beginning Sax, the Jazz Approach, is a product of Randy Hunter Jazz. Visit us on the web at beginningsax.com or randyhunterjazz.com. Mm -hmm.